Good morning, wonderful people. Welcome to my channel. Just do a little live check with my channel. It's been giving some problems with regard to lives. We check if we are in fact live. And then we will take it further. Are we live right now? I am not sure. It seems to be going in that direction. Okay. So we are live. <clears throat> All right. So we are in the 161st verse of Nalita Sahasranama. Let's dive right into it. Hopefully I can finish this today by up till 183. Yes? Okay. Karya Karana Nirmukta Kamar Kamakeli Tarangita Kanat Karnakata Tanka Leela Vigrahadharini. She, the goddess Lalita, is free from cause and effect, indicating her transcendence beyond the limitations of cause and consequence. She exists beyond the realm of cause and effect, symbolizing her eternal unconditional nature. Kamakeli Tarangita, she dances with the playful ways of desire, signifying her divine play and creative expression of desires and emotions. The goddess Lalita, goddess energy in the Vedic tradition, is depicted as a play. She is very playful, joyous, dynamic nature, radiating with waves of divine bliss and love. Kanat Kanakata Tanka. Kanaka means gold. She is adorned with beautiful golden anklets representing a resplendent, enchanting divine form. The form is important in Vedic tradition, not just the function. If you focus on the form, you even get the function, in fact. Let's leave it at that. Leela Vigraha Dharani. She carries the form of divine play, signifying her embodiment as the cosmic play of creation preservation and dissolution. Number 162. She is Aja Kshayavinir Mukta Mudha Chipra Prasadini Antar Mukha Samaradhya Bahir Mukha Sudur Labha Aja, one who is unborn like the Ajaika Ekapada, the ruler of Purva Bhadrapada Nakshatra. <coughs> Aja means the one who is unborn, signifying her eternal unmanifested nature. She is beyond the cycle of birth and death and decay, representing her timeless existence. Shayavinir Mukta, she is free from decay, symbolizing her imperishable eternal nature. She is beyond the cycle of creation, preservation and dissolution. Mukta, she is captivating and chanting, attracting the hearts of devotees with her divine beauty and grace. Kshipra Prasadini, she quickly bestows her grace, signifying her compassionate, swift response to prayers. Antar Mukha Samaradhya, she is worshipped through inner contemplation. Antar Mukha, the face which is turned inwards. Antar means inside, within. Mukha is face, the face that is turned inward. The self, us as souls, if we go within. Indicating she can be realized and experienced through the deep meditation and introspection. Bahir Mukha Sudhur Labha. She is difficult to attain through external means, representing that her true nature can be challenging to comprehend through mere external means. There is a hint right there. Trayi Trivarga Nilaya Trishtha Tripura Malini Nirmaya Nirlambha Swatma Rama Sudha Shrutihi She is the embodiment of the three Vedas, the Rig Veda, the Yajur Veda and the Sam Veda, representing all knowledge of the Vedas. Trivarga Nilaya, she abides in the three goals of human life, Dharma, Artha and Kama. Trishtha, three means Three of something, okay, in Sanskrit, the suffix, the prefix three. She is established in the three realms, Bhur, Bhuva, and Suvaha. Bhur in astrology is the Bhumi, Bhuva is the entire planetary system, Swara, Swar, or celestial means the zodiac and all the nakshatras. 
Tripura Malini, she wears the garland of skulls, symbolizing her victory over ignorance and ego. <clears throat> this structure of the physical reality in Vedic tradition is considered as Maya and illusion. We are eternal beings. So she destroys that ego. This is the symbology of that. Nirmaya, Niramaya, she is free from afflictions and ailments, signifying her pure healing nature. Niralamba, she is independent and self-sustained, indicating her self-sufficiency sufficiency and supreme power. Swatma Rama, she finds delight in her own self, representing the state of bliss and contentment within her divine nature. Sudha Shrutihi, her speech is likened to a nectar, symbolizing her words of wisdom and divine teachings. 164 Sansara Panka Nirmagna Samud Samud Dharana Pandita Yagna Priya Yagna Kartri Yajamana Swarupini. She is the expert scholar in rescuing those who are deeply entangled in the mire of worldly existence. Don't get too attached to the worldly stuff, doesn't matter which aspect it is. Yagna Priya, she is fond of sacrificial offerings, symbolizing her love for selfless service and devotion, something we need to learn in the world today. There is no concept of selfless service. Everybody talks about it, very few people practice it. Yagna Kartri, she is a performer of sacred rituals, indicating her active role in maintaining cosmic order. There is an order to this existence. Yajamana Swarupini, she is the embodiment of of the worshipper, representing her presence within the hearts of all beings. 165. Dharma Dhara Dhana Dhyaksha Dhana Dhanya Vivardhini Vipra Priya Vipra Rupa Vishwa Brahmanakarini Brahmanakarini Dharma Dhara, she holds Dharma. Dhara means one who holds. Dharma Dhara, one who holds Dharma itself. Dharma is everything like the righteous path, so to speak. Righteous path is being in alignment with the cosmic order. Dhanadhyaksha, she presides over wealth and abundance, symbolizing her role as provider and sustainer of prosperity. Dhanadhanya vivardhini, she enhances and increases wealth and grains. Physical world. Vipra she is fond of those who are learned, wise and devoted to knowledge and spiritual pursuits. Vipra Rupa, she manifests in various forms indicating her ability to take on diverse appearances. Vishwa Brahmanakarini, she moves through the entire universe signifying her omnipresence and active involvement in cosmic creation. Number 166 Vishwagrasa Vishnu Mabha Vishnu Mabha Vaishnavi Vishnu Vishnu Rupini Ayo Niryoni Nilaya Kutastha Kula Rupini She encompasses the entire universe. Vishwa is universe. Grasa one to hold. Graha is to hold. See? So Vishwagrasa she encompasses the entire universe. Vidru Mabha, her radiance is compared to that of a coral. Vaishnavi, she is the embodiment of Vish Vaishnavi principle itself. Vishnu Rupini, she takes on the form of Vishnu. See, in Vedic tradition, female can take on the form of male, male can take the form of female. There is no real distinction. The distinction of male and female is just in the creation aspects. Nothing more than that. Ayonir, Ayonir, Yoni means the female reproductive organ. Ayonir, she is unoriginated without a womb, indicating her transcendental nature. Yoni Nilaya, she is firmly established in the Yoni also, in every being that reproduces in this universe. Not just on earth, by the way. <clears throat> Kutastha, she is unchanging and eternally constant. Representing her immutable steady nature, Kula Rupini, she embodies the form, the divine lineage, signifying her connection to ancient sacred lineages. You can read this up if you wish. 167. 
वीर घोष्ठ प्रिया वीरा नैष्कर्म्या नाद रूपिनी विज्ञान घन कलना कल्या विदग्धा बैंदवासना शी इज फॉन्ड ऑफ गैदरिंग्स एंड असेंबलिंग्स ऑफ हीरोइक वॉरियर्स वीर गोष्ठी प्रिया वीरा शी इज हर सेल्फ करेजियस वीर मीन्स करेजियस वेली एंड फियरलेस नैष्कर्म्या शी एम्बॉडीज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ सेल्फलेस एक्शन एंड अनअटैच आउटकम्स ऑफ वर्क नाद रूपिणी नादा मीन्स साउंड रूपिणी फॉर्म ऑफ साउंड शी इज द मैनिफेस्ट एज द वेरियस फॉर्म्स ऑफ साउंड इंक्लूडिंग ओम विज्ञान कलना शी हर विजडम एंड आर्टिस्टिक स्किल्स आर सुप्रीम रिप्रेजेंटिंग हर प्रोफाउंड नॉलेज एंड क्रिएटिव एबिलिटीज कल्या शी इज स्किलफुल एंड एडेप्ट इन वेरियस आर्ट्स ऑल आर्टिस्ट यू कैन गो टू हर फॉर गाइडेंस एंड फॉर इंस्पिरेशन विदग्धा शी इज चार्मिंग प्लेफुल एंड कैप्टिवेटिंग ड्राइंग हर डिवोटीज क्लोजर टू हर विथ लव एंड अफेक्शन शी इज मदर बाइंद वासना She is adorned with her close companions, indicating her association with divine beings. One sixty-eight. Tatva dika, tatva mai, tatva matra, martha swarupini, samagana priya, saumya sada shiva kutumbini. Wonderful. She surpasses all tatva, all elements. Tattva mai is the essence of all elements. Remember the tattva of elements: earth, air, fire, water, ether of astrology. She is the ruler of that. Sama gana priya. She delights in us, chanting of sacred chants. Saumya. Saumya is someone who is gentle. She is gentle, kind-hearted, and filled with compassion. Sada Shiva Kutumbini. She is the divine consort of Lord Shiva or Kameshwara. Savya Pasya Margastha Sarva Padri Nivarini. Swastha Swabhava Madura Dhira Dhira Samarchita. She exists both in the right and left paths. This is the Ida and the Pingala Nadi, the Tantric tradition. This lots to this. Okay. Signifying her omnipresence and her ability to be approached to various practices, all practices lead to the same thing: mantra, tantra, etc. Sarva padni padvini varini. She is of all adversities, troubles, and difficulties, symbolizing a protective, nurturing nature. Swastha. She is self-sufficient, self-sustaining. Swabhava madhura. She embodies the sweetness and the pleasantness in her nature. Dhira, she is composed, steady, and courageous. Dhira Samarchita, she is worshipped and revered by the wise. Chaitanya Ragya Samaradhya Chaitanya Kusuma Priya Sado Tita Sada Tushta Tarunya Tarunya Ditya Patala. She is worshipped and adored by offerings of consciousness. people make a lot of offerings these days here in india but nobody is doing with any degree of consciousness it's become a blind ritual hindus please take note and correct yourselves you have to offer with some degree of consciousness there has to be a play of your heart there chaitanya kusuma priya she is fond of flowers of consciousness signifying her delight in the expressions of pure awareness offer things do your rituals and rites and everything else but do it with some degree of consciousness please if you blindly sit and throw some flowers it's not going to happen sada sada sadodita sada tushta tarun tarunya aditya na patala she is always radiant and shining with divine light representing her eternal brilliance sada tushta Tushta means one who is content. Sada Tushta, one who is forever content and satisfied. Taruna Aditya Patala, she is resembles the radiant petals of a young, blooming sunflower. How beautiful is that? Dakshina Dakshina Radhya Darshmeer Mukham Bhuja Kauli Ni Kevalan Argya Kaivalya Padadai Ni. He is worshipped on the right hand side. We talked about the left hand side. 
the ida nadi now is the pingala nadi the right hand channel she is the embodiment of kundalini so she is rules both worlds the right side represents auspiciousness or giving nature left side is the receiving nature if you want to go that direction tarash mera mukham bujha she is likened to the lotus blooming on the side of the sun the lineage of the sun the lineage of astrology suggesting she radiates beauty in grace like the lotus blossom responding to the presence of sun see the sun around her kaulini she is known as kaulini signifying her association with the kaula tradition of worship i have not gone much deep into that portion yet kevala kevala nargya kaivalya padadaini she bestows a unique incomparable liberation kaivalya means liberation liberation from what liberation from ignorance Okay, one seventy-two. Stotra Priya Stuti Mati Shruti Samstuta Vaibhava Manaswini Manavati Maheshi Mangala Kritihi She is fond of hymns and prayers signifying her love and devotion expressed through hymns, songs, bhakti. Stuti Mati She is praised and adorned by devotees by symbolizing a constant presence. She is always present. Even here, Shruti Samstuta Vaibhava, her glory is extolled in scriptures and sacred texts. Manaswini, she resides in the hearts of mind of her devotees. Manavati, she man- manifests herself in the welfare of humanity. Manava means in Sanskrit humanity. Maheshi, she is the supreme goddess representing her power and authority of Kameshwara, Lord Shiva. Prakriti, she bestows auspiciousness. Number 173. Vishwamata Jagadhatri Vishalakshi Viragini Praga, Pragalbha Paramodara Paramodamanomai. She is the mother of entire universe, representing a role in nurturing and protective force that sustains all life. Jagadhatri, she is the sustainer and preserver of the world, signifying her divine presence. Vishala Akshi, Akshi is eyes, Vishala means wide, her eyes are described as vast and expansive. All encompassing vision is divinity. Viragini, she embodies renunciation and detachment. denoting her ability to remain unaffected pragalbha pragalbha she is magnanimous and generous paramodara she is overwhelming with compassion she is full of bliss and joy 174 vyomakeshi vimanastha vajrini vamakeshwari पंच यज्ञ प्रिया पंच प्रेत मंचाधिशायिनी शी अडोन्स द मून एज अ क्राउन रिप्रेजेंटिंग अर कनेक्शन विथ शिवा एंड सेलेस्टियल रेम्स विमान अस्था शी रिसाइड्स इन सेलेस्टियल व्हीकल्स दीज आर ऑल मिस्टिकल लाइन्स डोंट थिंक ऑफ सम यू एफ ओ ओके वज्रिनी शी होल्ड्स थंडर बोल्ड सिग्निफाइंग अर पावर एंड इनविंसिबिलिटी वामकेश्वरी शी प्रिसाइड्स ओवर द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ शिवा again shiva left side of shiva as the feminine force as ida nadi shiva the right side as the pingala nadi you can go on and on about this pancha yagna priya she is fond of five fold sacrificial offerings sacred offerings she is the ruler of five types of ghosts preta means loosely translated as ghosts they are just energies of the universe energies of different forms of beings okay just keep it simple don't get too entangled with the stuff panchami panchabhuteshi panchashankhyo sankhyo pacharini shashvati shashvataishwarya sharmada sharmada shambhu mohini panchami fifth day of the lunar fortnight she is present in the fifth day of the lunar fortnight panchabhuteshi she is the ruler of the five elements panchashankhyo pacharini she performs five fold worship shashvati she is eternal denoting her timeless unchanging nature 
Shashwataishwarya, she possesses everlasting divine sovereignty. Sharmada Shambhu Mohini, she bestows grace and bliss upon her devotees. Shambhu Mohini, she enchants, mesmerizes Lord Shiva himself. Let me just give a quick check. How are we doing on the broadcasting part? CPU consumption is a lot here. I'm not sure if it is doing justice to actually doing something. I'll do one thing. I'll pause here and get back. Just give me a 